So hi, my name is Jake Rahm and I look after Europe and the Middle East and Africa um, for uh, the Environment and Ultrasound Simulator and the surgical products that the CAE have uh, within their portfolio. Um, the Viamedix uh, is uh, the most popular ultrasound simulator in the world. We've got about um, six, 600 of those plus out there at the moment. And it does everything from TEE to TTE to abdominal to um, uh, transvaginal OBGYN um, uh, ultrasound. Recently, we've paired up with Microsoft um, to use the HoloLens along with Viamedix AR. allows us to, be, to actually see the anatomy within inside the mannequin. Okay? And we can lift that anatomy up, we can take different parts of anatomy out and we can actually move it. And therefore we can develop exercises around it. So people understand more about the anatomy, they understand more about the conditions that can happen um, with regard to trauma, um, with regard to heart issues. We are really lucky because we've got uh, um, a great relationship with Microsoft, the biggest software company in the world, is working alongside the biggest simulation company in the world. This can only mean that Microsoft are pushing us to do more and more and more and put more modules on our simulators. Um, that means HoloLens within the Viamedix, HoloLens within our perfect simulator Lucina, okay? We've also got HoloLens that are, are going to be joining up different platforms like our Cath Lab VR and our biomedic system together. What this means is we're, we're going to be able to uh, uh, show a better learning experience and spatial awareness for things so people can understand what actually goes on inside patients you know, or, or mannequins in this case, what actually goes on with, with regard to uh, procedures uh, if we're talking about Cath Lab and also as well when we're talking about ultrasound show those complaints and what they mean to the real anatomy. Also what we can do is we can put problems within the biomedics. Um, in other words we can put fluid uh, within the mannequin and show that with real 3D objects, real holograms, fluid uh, for a pericardial fusion for instance or fluid within the perineum, fluid around the kidneys and around the, uh, around the lungs. Um, we can produce uh, uh, exercises where we can test people to see how quickly uh, they can do a fast exam and we can give them a score in, in percentage for how much they've scanned and we can look at the metrics to see how much they've moved with the probe. So therefore, lowering the metrics would mean attaining the views quicker. Um, in addition to that, on the original Viomedex, we've got those uh, around about 200 pathologies that we can put on to, to replicate conditions, whether they be valvular conditions in the heart, or whether they be trauma conditions, the abdominal, or um, aortic aneurysm, for instance, or, or neurothorax in the lungs.